Hi, this is Chris Massiello from vitamincm.com and I'm going to show you how to use YouTube's annotation links to connect multiple videos together and create an interactive video series. So if you notice here, I have my latest video uploads. I uploaded five videos that I'm going to use for this series to link all together. And what I did was I opened each one of them in a tab in chronological order. And what you're going to need is the URL from each video. So what I did was place each one of them in this text file just for ease of use for myself and I numbered them one through five. So if I go to the first video here and click edit annotations then I'll pause it. This opens up the annotations tool so there's a couple different annotations you can add here. You can add a speech bubble and this would just kind of pop up and have some text written over. You could add a note that gives some information or you can add a spotlight and that's what I want to use. As I explained in the previous video, you need to leave an area at the end of the video that's going to allow the users to make a decision and jump to whatever videos you want them to navigate to. So I left this spot here at the end of the video. So I'll click Add Spotlight and I'll drag the spotlight over the area where I want them to click and it's made up of two different pieces. So the first piece is the text that's going to display. So I put that in there and then the second piece is the actual click zone. So this is the spot. If a user clicks on this spot it will do what I want it to do. And then above this you'll notice there's a add annotation link. So I'll click that link and I want to link to another video and you need the URL of the video so I'll get the second video in my series. Copy that out and paste it into the link area and click save. Now if I save this and click publish this will be working. So if I go back to info and settings and play this video, I'm going to jump to the end where the I'm annotation is added. You'll see the annotation is live here and if I click it, it jumps me to the next video in the series that I wanted to go to. Now I'm at the second video in the series and if you notice at the end of this video I have a choice of jumping back to the overview video or going to one of the other videos in the series. What I want to do now is go to edit annotations and link up all the different places that I want to go to. Now I'm up to the end of the video where I have the navigation section and if you notice I linked up to three of the next videos in the series and I want to add in one more link back to the original in case somebody wanted to jump back and see that. I'll click add spotlight, I'll resize it around that link and I need to put the link in so I'll get the link for that video save it and there's one more thing I need to do if you see this yellow time span this is how long that the link will be in place I want it to go all the way to the end of the video so I just drag it to the end and then click save so if you notice I have the timings for all these different links and one of them if I look at it here isn't going all the way to the end so I'll just drag it out to the end and save it to make sure and now that I have them all in place I'll just hit publish and then this video is all set up. So now when I get to the end of this video, somebody could click and jump to any one of the new tasks that they want to learn, or they could go backwards and view the overview, or just stop watching. So in this video, I linked up all the choices again. So you can see I have a choice to go backward, forward, uh, jump to any video in the series that I want. So finally, when I get to the last video and have them all linked up, the whole thing is complete. So now I would send a link to this first video or embed this first video on my site and that would allow the user to navigate all the way through the whole series. And at the end of any video, they could jump backwards or forwards to any video in the series that they want. So it really makes the whole thing interactive. You could put all different branching scenarios in. Uh, basically, your imagination is your only limits. So that's how you use annotations to create interactive linked YouTube videos.